Okay, so this is Nelka again and this is the second part of our warehouse lighting design applications. In our previous video, we discussed about the exterior or the outdoor lighting design for a warehouse. Now, we will discuss about the indoor lighting for a warehouse application. So, what is this warehouse? So, the warehouse for indoor will be looked like this and some of the luminaires that we usually uh, used for this application is a high bay or a fluorescent linear uh, fitting like this and because of the L efficiency of the LED today now we can have a very good high bay application with LED lamp inside so okay I have this example now this is our previous project and we did the outdoor lighting previously using the floodlights and now we will go to the indoor area of the warehouse okay so let's go and select this warehouse tab and let's go to the story tab and you can see now I prepared my racks and if you will ask me where did I get these racks so just go to 3d warehouse and then um, just type warehouse rack and you can have a lot of warehouse rack to choose from here so I just selected this one and then I open it to my SketchUp SketchUp software and it's look like this and then I remove some some items that are not really necessary you can really just create a box if you like but just for the aesthetic purposes I use these racks because it's low poly so it's not that heavy so it's okay all right so how are we going to light this warehouse as I mentioned we usually use high base and what is the main considerations for a warehouse lighting design so for a warehouse um, the client will ask you probably 150 lux on the floor and but usually you can have it 150 lux or 100 lux one meter above the floor so yeah well it depends on the clients if they ask for 100 or 150 lux but in our experience we, they always ask for 150 lux on the corridor like this one but actually it's not about the horizontal uh, horizontal lux level that is the most important for a warehouse application this is about the vertical illumination so we need to make sure that these boxes, these um, uh, racks will be properly highlighted, highlighted from top to bottom. So that's why it's very important to have either asymmetric beam or um, wide beam or if the narrow beam can do, then it's okay. But make sure that you have a very good illumination of this vertical, not on the horizontal or, or on the horizontal only okay so how are we going to do that so you just go to your plan view and then go to your calculation object and you will place your first calculation on the middle that is the requirements for 150 lux and then you can label this one as your horizontal illumination if you like and you say level it horizontal horizontal cut Okay, you can continue that one and then go to the positioning and you sorry not positioning um, this calculation parameters and you will click the horizontal and not this perpendicular elements make sure this is this one is highlighted after that you can uh, scale it if you like and then extend up to here and then you can also edit the calculation points if you like so go to the uh, to this uh, setting for measuring and make the distance click the distance and make it one by one okay so your calculation points will be one by one spacing all right and then um, aside from the horizontal uh, click the false color in the value chart if you like aside from the horizontal it's as I mentioned it's really important to have the vertical illumination so what we're going to do is we will just copy this one Control C and then Control V, and then let's go to the elevation view, and then right click, 
and then rotate you can either do it manually or you can do it here in your positioning so now it's see it's 90 degrees and you just move it right click move and place it here and my rack is eight meters high so let's go and measure it yes sorry it's only five meters okay so this is only five meter height because my building is 10 meters high okay so let's go and make this one as five meters height so just go to the other elevation view right click and then scale it yep then again scale it down here there you go you can do it also manually here in the side so by typing five to make it precise and then make the um, length are uh, safe 18 meters only so it will be pre precise and then just move and make it as a center all right so if you go here to the 3d view you now have your um vertical calculation surface but you can put it on the, put it in the other side or you can rotate it so let's move right click move and move it there and when you go to the 3d you can see now it's there but you can see the point is going down so let's go and check the setting for measurement again okay now this time you will go for the vertical luminance click this one and then unclick the horizontal so you will have only the vertical and you, you can see now the point is pointing where let's go and say check so the point select my calculation surface there and you can see yes the arrow is towards us so we will make sure that the rotation of that one is correct so let's go and select um, 90 degrees yep okay so it's in the other way around so let's just make it 270 okay perfect now this is correct so you can see the arrow is towards the vertical surface of the rocks so this is okay now okay and you can click the false color and value, value chart as well all right so once you created your horizontal and vertical calculation surface now we will place our luminaire 